We're working on a 1998 Olds 88 with a 3800 engine. Multiple problems, but one of them we're addressing first is we have a long crank time intermittently, and uh, if we wait long enough in between the shutdown, it may give us a start stall. So with a long crank time, intermittent long crank time, one of the suspect components for that would be a ruptured fuel pressure regulator diaphragm, and uh, we're going to walk through that part. So looking at our fuel trim numbers, you'd think with a, a regulator diaphragm that's torn with sucking fuel in through the vacuum port that we would have negative fuel trim numbers, and they look pretty good right here at idle. So, you know, possibly not that. I'm going to change my RPMs, get a different load, different RPM combination here, and uh, take a look at these numbers. There's some negative. There's a negative 8. That's a 22, 2300. Looks pretty good. Come back down a little bit. 1500. Back down to idle. Boy, it'd be real tough to call. Looking at scan data, these fuel trim numbers look pretty good. Intermittently, I'm seeing a negative 10. On the short term, I haven't caught it here on the video yet, but I did see a negative 10 a few times looking at this data PID, the short term trim. There's a negative, there's a negative 10, negative 11. And then it cleans back up again. So let's go take a look under the hood. Okay, the test for this regulator, just simply pull the vacuum hose off the regulator. And, and what we want to do is watch for fuel to come out of that vacuum port and one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to rush this call. You don't want to say, well, there's no fuel there, so I'm just going to plug it back up and we're okay. I did this before I filmed it, and it literally took over a minute for fuel to start come running out of this port. So let's watch it. We'll time it and see how long it takes. One of the, the clues to make us wait a little longer is to smell it, rub your finger on the tip of it, and take a whiff. And it smells like gas real bad. Just hold my thumb over the port. I don't need to. I can just leave it open for this test. It doesn't matter. My concern is this regulator port right here. I'm worried about this guy right here. So I'm watching right here, watching for fuel. You get a small tear in this diaphragm, you're really not gonna see too much on the fuel trim numbers. On occasion, we were seeing it, but what's gonna happen when you shut this car off, a little tear in the diaphragm, this chamber's gonna fill up with fuel. It'll start to fill the vacuum hose up, and then on the next startup, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take a big gulp of fuel into the intake, and the car's gonna start and stall and run real rough, give you a long crank time as well, basically a flooded condition. There it is. Amazing how long that took. That was a good two minutes before fuel started coming out of that. So there's your intermittent rich condition. There is your intermittent long crank time. Ruptured fuel pressure regulator diaphragm. Do not rush when you take the hose off of these regulators. You don't expect fuel to run out on some of these right away. You gotta give it some time. That'll take care of our long crank time. I also got a number six uh, cylinder misfire that we need to address too. So we'll take a look at that next. This could be associated with that too, but that is your ruptured regulator diaphragm test. 